Hi, we're here with Ofer Berkovich, who is one of the candidates running for mayor of Jerusalem in the upcoming elections. How are you doing, Ofer? I'm doing good, David. How are you? I'm, I'm great. So we know that you know, you're, you're busy and we want to get right down to it. Why should we vote for you? And I can tell you what my personal concerns are and what the concerns of a lot of people in my position are. We live in the city. We love the city. And we want Jerusalem not to be a, a glorified theme park for tourists, but we want it to be a vital, vibrant, and viable city. And in order to do that, we need, I think, more industry, more jobs, more housing for all the young students that come through the city and don't end up staying. What's your plan? So we have a lot to speak about. Okay. Let's start. Jerusalem is uh, challenging and Jerusalem is amazing and we want to preserve something and we want to develop some other things. I think first we had uh, um, 10 years of activity of new uh, uh, trends that we brought to the city with Mayor Barkat. I think we, we achieved great changes in the city, I'm talking about rising the high-tech uh, scene in Jerusalem from 200 companies to 512 by a special program that I pushed forward with accelerators, with networking events, with uh, uh, mentors, with special incentives and branding, Jerusalem Next. I think we did great job in the culture portfolio with a revolution in the Machne Uda market, in the public uh, space uh, events, in support supporting the, the institutions of cultures and the artists in Jerusalem. I think we made a, a major a, a, a change in the urbanic point of view of the city, in the city center renovation, a, a upgrading the, the experience for walkers, for a, a new business a, a development in the, in the city center, a campus a, a housing for students, a half of the price a, by bringing WeWork, uh, shared, shared. Uh, um, We're still waiting for WeWork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still. <laughs> when are they opening? They told us like half a year ago it should be <laughs> open, but it will happen, and it's important uh, uh, symbol for the new trends in the city center. So uh, we achieved a lot. We worked in the neighborhoods about new parks. We worked to keep a uh, cinema smadal. We worked to initiate new, uh, uh, um, uh, ho um, new experience. For, kin for kids in the, in the kindergartens at the, at the holidays, to keep them there with a, a low uh, cost... Uh, um, I don't remember. Uh, daycare. Okay, daycare. And I think we... we He's we, running for mayor of Jerusalem, so it's okay if his English isn't 100%, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that we, we made major change in the city. What are you going to do in the future? Okay. What's coming up? What's coming up? So I have... Because, I mean, I know that your party, which is Hitole Rut... That's right. ...left the coalition with Nir Barkat... Yeah, that's ...over true. some issues. So, okay. like, all this progress has been contentious at some point. Okay, so... So what's, what's, what's what, coming up in the future? A, 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 a word about the crisis with, with Mayor Barkat. One year and a half ago, since Mayor Bakat declared he's going to run for the Likud, I think he changed his priorities, and I think he changed a bit his way. We uh, keep, we continue to be the same. It took in the last ten years. I think he moved a bit from the way by uh, giving two na national religious uh, um, schools to the ultra orthodox, by strengthening the ultra orthodox uh, uh, in Kiryat Yovel and Gilo by a different uh, a route and program than he put on the table when we supported him to be the mayor. And because of this agreement with Devi La Torah, we're not against the ultra-Orthodox. We are, want to serve everyone, but we want to have uh, um, services for everyone, not one above the other, or we want to have it one near the other. Yeah, I and totally have also nothing against the ultra-Orthodox, because if I want to buy uh, chulent, I can't get that in Rehavia. <laughs> I have to go to Gilo. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. You, you, you're all right. And, and we want to work for everyone. This is our vision. Uh, but we want to keep the security of the communities, of the secular, of the traditional, of the national religious people in Jerusalem so they can be feel safe in Jerusalem and not giving their schools uh, uh, um, to others because of political pressure. 
about the future I see three main goals for myself in the next uh, five years the first one is to continue the a revolution in the high-tech employment, urbanic and creative revolution of Jerusalem to make it vibrant uh, uh, with a lot of activities for everyone to make it uh, um, uh, uh, nice, to make it uh, with good quality jobs in the city not just high-tech companies, not just biotech with the hospital and the two uh, research hospitals of Jerusalem we also want to bring here uh, new uh, units of the government uh, 165 units of the government sits outside of Jerusalem. It's worth 10,000 new jobs in the city for everyone. Uh, we want to help the small and medium businesses by lowering the bureaucracy, by strengthening the culture events nearby these small and medium businesses, by giving them the right support, by uh, um, um, cleaning their streets and by bringing more people and more tourism to Jerusalem. We want to encourage tourism and to fulfill the potential of Jerusalem. Is that number two? This is still number, number one, one. Okay. about the, uh, um, how we make Jerusalem stronger economically by uh, uh, bringing here, according to the special strategies that we built, in the assets of Jerusalem, in the competitive advantages of Jerusalem, how we invest in them and how we uh, um, uh, strengthen the city from an economic point of view. The second vector is about the simple interest of people. The sanitation level, for example, which is not good. And I think in that portfolio, I'm different from Mayor Balkat. I want also to feel that each and every citizen go out from his house in Gilo, in Pisgat Zeev, in, in every neighborhood feels that we care about him. It's, it's inconsistent, right? That means every neighborhood gets the level of, say, garbage collection, commensurate it with how much taxes they pay. No. No? It's, it's no, no. It's because, not by Because I always wonder why Rechavi is always spotless. Yeah. And, and you know, Meshareem is a little messy. Yeah, no, so it's not about it. It's about the culture of the people. It's the, about the... Uh, uh, so you're saying that right now, sanitation is, is... Sanitation services are the same throughout the city. Yeah, that's, that's the general statement. And I think that the sanitation level quality is very bad. And I think because Mayor Barca didn't care enough about this portfolio and issue, I want to uh, enlarge the amounts for this uh, uh, subject. I want to enforce the law and to give uh, fines to the people who are not keeping our environment. I want to get into schools, kindergartens, youth movements, community centers, cultural institutions, small and medium businesses, and to get them all to this idea, speak about sanitation, work for sanitation, uh, to have com special competitions between different uh, uh, business who is going to be the one that is more clean than anyone else and to make another vibrant uh, idea of this cleaning all over the city. And, uh, and I want to be in the neighborhoods every Sunday, six o'clock in the morning, six and a half, with the uh, professional from the municipality to go from one neighborhood to another. We have 28 neighborhoods over Jerusalem and to be sure that the wind commander is going into uh, through the workers and to understand how much it's important. So it's, it's a symbol for, for a lot of simple interest of, of, of the citizens and I want to be there more for the, for the citizens. The third vector is about the coexistence, how we live together, Jewish and Arabs, a, a, a secular, moderate, religious and ultra-Orthodox. I want to build bridges between different communities to work uh, together uh, in front of the sanitation problem. There are actives from all over the sectors that can cooperate in order to... Oh, I thought you were going to move like secular Jews into Mesharim and... No, no. We want to meet through culture, through sports, through communities ac activity, to know each other and to understand that people are people. I want also to integrate the ultra orthodox community and the Arab com community much more in the employment uh, uh, market because this is part of the sustainability of Jerusalem. So if anyone will succeed, everyone will succeed, Jerusalem will succeed. It's not just about the productive population, uh, secular, moderate religious people that it's clear they are the very important force for the city. It's also about how we integrate the other ones, how we give them culture institutions, how we give them a better quality of life, how we give them incentives to get into the job market. And I have some experience in that field and we succeed. And I think I have much more vision about it and how we should 
work on it in the last in the next few years in order to to reach it and uh, so these are the three main challenges that i will address in the next five years as that's an awesome what's your position on on building more affordable housing for young people to move here instead of moving to tel aviv or... it's it's one of our agendas it's true it's not an how easy, do you do it it's not an easy incentivize uh, builders I mean, I know in New York, whenever they put up a tower, sometimes they, the, the government gives grants to the luxury condo to take some of the apartments and save it for low-income housing. Yeah. And then so they have a lottery. We have a few, few ideas and a few agendas about it. First, we achieved this uh, before, double the taxes on foreigners, which have here apartments and they don't live here. We think that if someone wants to come here for a week or a month, he should take a room in a hotel and we have great hotels in Jerusalem and we want to strengthen the tourism and uh, Airbnbs industry. and Airbnbs and uh, um, we also uh, want to put taxes on abandoned assets we have in Jerusalem 450 hundred thousand of abandoned assets they break the walls they break things and they say okay it's not useful anymore and they don't pay, and they don't pay any taxes the owners because of historical law. So I'm saying no, no more. If you have... They do that to like... Plinadan, hotel in uh, Tzal Square. It's in the prime location oh, yeah. of Jerusalem. Right. It's abandoned for 10 years. Think about the loss for the city in taxes, in employment, in tourists that can come and buy in small and medium businesses. And it's ugly. And it's ugly. And <laughs> we can, uh, by that, reuse a lot of new apartments. So this is the second thing. The third thing is how to create the, these models, rental housing models, subsidized a bit, 20% off the market price. And we do it uh, first by government projects like in Mitcha Malen B and Adasak Tanan Kirat Yovel. They are going to be built thousands or hundreds of units for young families, 20% off the market price for long-term uh, um, rent. rent. I want to do it also in public brown areas. For example, you have a youth club or you have a kindergarten and you build above five, six floors. You give it for entrepreneurs for 25 years. And he, this is an economical model. And you run these this apartments only for young families in the starting way, 20% 20 off, 20 off the market price. This is another great idea that we can do in any neighborhood in Rehavia, in Baca, in, 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 in most of the neighborhoods of Jerusalem and by that to enable young couples to stay here. We also run a renovation processes, evacuating, right. destroying and rebuilding in Kirat Yovel, in Katamon, in uh, Kirat Menachem because we need grounds and we don't have a lot of new grounds in Jerusalem. So we take the old houses, we give better uh, apartments for the old uh, um, people who live there and we enlarge the amount of the apartments in Jerusalem and by that we, we create much more supply of apartments for the city. So these are like main ideas in the housing and uh, we have a lot to talk as I said we can, we, we can speak much more about it. Awesome well I guess that answers the question you're you're how, how old are you you're like 30 Five. Yeah, you got it. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. So, like, you're 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 coming off as the what the the, the John F. Kennedy of uh, <laughs> of Jerusalem municipal politics, and but you, you you're young, but you have a lot of experience. You yeah, want to tell us like why you? Why yeah. should you be the mayor? Why not why not me? Because <laughs> I want to be king of Israel. Born and raised in <laughs> Jerusalem, uh, and built my family here. Uh, I studied philosophy, economics, and political science. I had great experience of commander in the army. I finished my service as a captain. Now I'm a major in the army service, in army reserve. Uh, I created Awakening it would be Ushalayim, with a, a few partners. I think I'm the only candidate that built kind of social, political, amazing uh, a movement that impact a lot on Jerusalem in the last 10 years. I think I have great achievements in the last 10 years. I think that the age, the young age, is not a, a disadvantage, it's an advantage. You need a, a lot of passion, you need a lot of power to, to run Jerusalem, to, to initiate new initiatives. It's a, a big city with a lot of citizens. I think my young age is, is advantage in this and I think also I'm, not, I'm committed only for the citizens of Jerusalem. No other political interest, no people that put me from... Like uh, Victor from, Lieberman... <laughs> like yeah. any... 
Any other uh, new candidates that uh, remember uh, remember now that they need to move their address to Jerusalem <laughs> because they want to be the mayor? So you're Jerusalem. saying you've never lived in Malay Dumin? <laughs> Have you ever visited? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think I think these are part of the reasons. And I'm sure that in the places that I don't have enough experience, I'm willing to work with people, to build the right teams, to have the people with experience in these kind of uh, terms that I don't expert still. Uh, and of course, I'm, I have a lot to learn. I'm sure... Well, you can't be an expert on everything. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming thank to see you. us. Thank you for this Alter lovely Berkovich, interview. Alter Berkovich, a breath of fresh air in Jerusalem municipal politics. We'll see. Get the vote out. Go yeah, out, go vote, to vote. Vote for whoever you want to vote, but get out and vote. And thanks for seeing. Thanks for visiting us. Thank you. <laughs>